gloves are off and the fight is on between llama.cpp and olama both of these projects are quite near to my heart and i have been covering them from the start so it was quite hard for me to make this video but i believe that it is about time we bring this controversy which was brewing under the surface for quite some time but i'm more than sure it will have lasting implications so in this video i am going to keep it technical but at the same time i would keep it in a way that everyone would understand what exactly is happening who is right who is wrong because that is going to determine the direction for both of these projects if you don't know what llama.cpp is how to get it installed and same for o llama then just go to my channel and search it out this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel so first up what is happening there is a controversy brewing in the ai world right now and it is centered around these two names olama and llama.cpp for those deep into the local ai scene and those who are regular viewers of my channel this isn't just another petty developer feud it's a real conversation about credit open source ethics and how the AI ecosystem is evolving. Today, let's break it down and please also like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's start with the basics. Llama.cpp is a highly optimized C++ project designed to run Meta's Llama's model and other large language model locally on your own hardware without the need for expensive cloud infrastructure. It was a breakthrough when it appeared because it let people run advanced models even on consumer grade machines and we have run huge 70 billion plus models on CPU with Llama.cpp. It also supports GPU acceleration, multiple model architectures, quantization formats and has become the backbone for countless other AI tools, GUIs and projects. In short, it's an engine that powers a huge chunk of the local LLM ecosystem and there is no doubt about it. Then we have Olama. If you have been following this channel, you know that I have done thousands of videos including Olama. And by the way, Olama has never reached out to me. Never once, even on social media, they have said hello. Anyway, but I digress. Olama. I believe is one of the easiest tools to run models locally if you are just starting out it is user friendly has its own model packaging format and has gained a lot of traction with both casual users and even with some of the developers for many people discovering local ai for the first time olama is often their entry point so where is this controversy the controversy started when someone pasted this question on the github page of uh, Olama in the issues and then the creator of Lama.cpp who is Georgi Gerganov responded with this answer where he really really took them down I mean the Olama's one and I will describe it technically what exactly he means in uh, this response once that happened then another hugging face engineer chipped in and he is quite a prominent figure on social media and he said this that copy other people's homework claim that they made it themselves classic move olama and then the whole social media lit up with this controversy so what exactly um, this question was and what exactly georgie is saying in this response is primarily the topic of this video and i will keep it very rational without taking too much sides and I would let you be the judge, so please share your opinion in the comments. So what is happening here? It comes down to how Olama interacts with Llama.cpp. Under the hood, Olama actually uses Llama.cpp to do the heavy lifting when it comes to model inference. But here is the problem. According to many in the Llama.cpp community, Olama has contributed very little, if anything, back to the core project. They are benefiting from years of open source work without directly supporting it, whether that's through code contributions, documentation improvement, or even consistent public credit. This is where tension arises. Llama.cpp isn't just 
a single project it's a foundation of an entire ecosystem if you go to even uh, georgie's github page you will see there are a lot of other projects and even with within llama.cpp you will find heaps of stuff and i have already covered it in my channel on heaps of videos so do check it out now there are developers working tire tirelessly to improve model support add features like 4-bit and 8-bit quantization and keep it up to date with the latest model yet when olama um, promotes its tools it rarely makes it clear to users that llama.cpp is doing most of the core work some say this leads newcomers to think olama is the originator of these capabilities when in reality it's just building a layer on top another major point of contention is model compatibility and that is what mainly the point of this post is the llama.cpp community has been leading efforts to ensure models can be loaded across different tools and platforms using open well-documented formats but olama has been accused of sort of hijacking these compatibility efforts by pushing its own packaging system which can create lock-in and fragmentation for example a model packaged for olama won't necessarily run on other llama.cpp based tools without conversion and that conversion often requires workarounds that community had to figure out themselves this makes it very hard for users to freely move models between tools something that goes against the open source spirit llama.cpp was built on to be very fair olama has undoubtedly helped introduce more people to local ai its polished experience has lowered the barrier to entry and brought in a broader audience but that's not really enough for many in the llama.cpp community who feel it's unfair for a project to gain so much popularity while doing so little to support the engine it depends on in open source this is sometimes called as free riding benefiting from the work of others without giving back in a meaningful way and there is a lot of frustration around and it is compounded by the fact that llama.cpp itself as a very open development process there is also a question of visibility where um, many of us have no idea that olama is powered by llama.cpp and what else that's just not a branding issue they have recently you know released a ui and it is not open source as far as i know some argue that this isn't just about olama versus uh, llama.cpp but a bigger trend in ai right now as the industry gets more attention and money projects that present a polished interface often get all the glory so what happens next there are a few possibilities olama could start contributing more actively to llama.cpp whether through its um, code or public acknowledgement funding or whatever the llama.cpp community could also push harder for model format standards that prevent fragmentation making it harder for anyone project to create lock-in if tensions grow we could see more visible rifts in the local ai space which is not good because with some developers refusing to even support olama and pushing the user towards other tools instead at the end of the day this controversy raises important questions about ho how open source projects and commercial tooling should interact well i think there is a lot to uh, wait and see here i think this controversy isn't just about code it's about credit collaboration and the long-term health of ai open source community whether olama changes its approach or not this debate is forcing a bigger conversation how do we ensure that unsung heroes of ai infrastructure get the recognition and uh, i really want to say something here that uh, i have never said I have also seen that many of the very big names in AI YouTube have been copy pasting my videos as is, even the code. And that is why I have stopped sharing the exact code line by line in the video's description. I just want them to work a bit harder if they are stealing it. Uh, I really don't mind it, but the problem is that uh, if you are do they are doing it day in, day out, and then without any credit, without any link, it sometimes hurts so and you know you can just pick the top two to three names that is what i'm talking about and i'm sure people know about them i've even seen some of my viewers and commentators going to their videos 
pasting the comments in exact same video they are telling them that you have simply copy pasted this thing uh, from Fahad Mirza's channel and either they would just laugh at them or just delete the comments um, so pretty some guy even uh, I was I did a video on a vision language model where I used my own photos someone just you know during copy paste they even just uh, flashed my face in their video showing my own test so this is the lay of the land here but anyway I think you know let's stick to what we are doing and hope that everyone just gets along please also um, check out our sponsors of the video who are camel camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation Please like the video and subscribe as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.